Thank you for stopping by and welcome to the channel. And today's video will be going downstairs into the bank vault of the Toronto Dominion Center and checking out some of the artwork downstairs. So, hi everyone. Uh, we will be seeing three different sections here. One is related to history. So we'll be entering the vault today in the TD Center. So when they reno renovated the space, they tried to keep as much of the historical elements in here. So you can see the travertine uh, marble as well as the English oak walls. We also have um, a crest here that uh, was designed when the Bank of Toronto uh, like historical elements of TD Bank and the architecture. Uh, so we're going to be entering the vault. Um, it is a small space, so if you are claustrophobic, it might not be the best space for you, but please come on in. I'll give my little spiel. Come on in, let's make sure everybody can fit. Okay, so this is the background. Um, TD Bank was founded in 1855, known as the Bank of 1855, known as the Bank of Toronto. Um, its first head office was at the corner of Church and Wellington. It was then later on moved to here at King and Bay in 1913. Uh, in 1955, it merged with the Toronto Dominion Bank, hence now we have TD and the Bank of Toronto. Um, it was open every day, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And you had about, on a good day, you had about an 80 kilometer view of the city. Start in 1962 when the then uh, bank chairman and CEO Alan Lambert was inspired by the corporate collection of Chase Manhattan Bank in New York. Museum quality, unique works by Canadian and American artists. And is one of the largest corporate art collections in the country. The collection is guided by a uh, collecting principle. I really encourage you to check it out, it's phenomenal. Next week for a retrospective on that artist, which is pretty neat. 
joyous and curious scene of people playing amongst trees, but the way that he uses modern techniques and materials is a way for him to comment on our changing relationship with the environment and whether or not the relationship is a positive one or not. And she takes these photos and she paints over top of them to both celebrate the beauty of our landscape and at the same time... Does anyone have any questions? I'm happy to answer. Otherwise, please feel free to roam about and get a closer look at any of your favorite pieces. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, and hope to see you at our next video.